A cold Melbourne morning wasn't enough to stop more than two and a half thousand people from becoming Australian citizens at Victoria's largest ever citizenship ceremony at the Melbourne Cricket Ground. It took 60 DIAC staff more than six months to plan and prepare for the mega ceremony. 40 staff were present on the day to ensure proceedings ran as smoothly as possible. We have broken up the event today in two stages. Stage one is the registration, which started from about 8.30 in the morning. Our staff were here from 7 o'clock setting up, then at 2 o'clock we expect around 2,648 conferees to come through, plus an additional 6,000 guests that will come at the same time. Among the thousands of people celebrating was English-born Dr Paul Slade. After moving to Melbourne in 2006, Dr Slade is delighted to share the experience of receiving Australian citizenship with his family and friends. Today's a really important and exciting day for, for myself, for my wife, for the daughters and for a couple of friends we've got who are t getting citizenship on the same day. It's, it's a world famous stadium, it's been fantastic to watch sport here but actually to uh, to have such an important uh, event in our lives taking place at the MCG is just, just a fantastic experience. Raul Espina, his wife Gina and their three children also came to Australia in 2006. The family is looking forward to creating opportunities for others now they've become Australians officially. I want uh, to have my own business so I can help other migrants to, help, to be employed here in Australia. Congratulations, you are now Australian citizens. Nick Hatzoglou said he was thrilled the AFL was able to take part in such a significant event. I'd like to thank uh, the Department of Immigration and Citizenship for partnering up with us.